All right, so what we got here is another Nissan forklift with a uh, K21 engine, and the customer complaint is cranking no start. So let me the, uh, crank this up for you and have you hear the sound that it's making, all right? All right, so it seems like it's trying to run, but it couldn't, right? Um, things that we already checked, we already verified that there is spark and we already verified that there is fuel and it's going in. Injectors are working fine. Fuel pressure is fine. So right now, down here, see that's gonna be the plug for the uh, cam and crank sensors. So I have my uh, blue and red hooked up to the cam and the crank and of course I'm hooked up to the negative. All right, so I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna focus you on the screen and see what we get. So let's try to crank this. Like that. Okay. And then we zoom in on this part right here. Okay, so the red trace would be my uh, cam sensor signal and my blue trace is going to be my uh, crank sensor so let's zoom in some more starting from the number one so the firing order is going to be one three four two so you see the one three four two and then you have your crank sensor right here so it is sending a signal but the problem is, so this is a waveform that I've taken from a previous engine that was in the shop that was running fine. And let's zoom in on this one. I don't know if you can see it, but you see where the blank is and where it should be lined up to my cam sensor. And then let's look at the one that I just captured. So this is the one that I just captured from the engine that we're working on right now. And you see, it's nowhere close. So this part right here should have lined up to that blank, but it's not. Okay, so we open it up and we saw that the uh, cam and crank, although I was not able to film it, the cam and the crank has shifted. And so this is what we found on the tensioner. See how uneven it is. I think it got caught somehow or whatever happened to this, but it wasn't putting any tension on the chains anymore. And I'm thinking that's the reason why it jumped a two or two. All right, so once we order the new one, I'm going to show you how it's supposed to look like. And we'll go from there. Okay, so we already got the new one in. And this is how it's supposed to look like. All right. This is the old one. You can see the difference. Yeah. All right. So I think that this is what caused our uh, belt to jump. All right, so we're gonna install this, put it all back together, and we're gonna look at the waveforms again. All right, so we put it all back together, we place a tensioner, all right. Um, I already have my oscilloscope hooked up to the cam and crank sensor signal. So I'm gonna zoom you in on the uh, oscilloscope when I crank it. Key on. Okay, and then that is start. Okay, I'll go up right away. So we see the signal now. It's gonna run for a bit. Alright, and then I'm gonna pause this. 
there. Stop it again. Now we're going to look at and zoom in on that signal. So okay, I don't know if you can see it, but remember the first time we were doing this, the signal for the cam and the crank, it was shifted over. So that line where the cam sensor goes up should be right there when the uh, crank sensor signal goes down. So now it's properly timed, it's running, uh, we can call this a fix.